Horrid Henry's school project. Da, da, da. Susan, stop shouting. Ralph, stop running. William, stop weeping. Henry, just stop. Miss Battleaxe glared at her class. Her class glared back. Miss, screeched Lazy Linda. Henry's pulling my hair. Miss, screeched Gorgeous Belinda. Ralph's kicking me. Miss, screeched Anxious Andrew. Dave's poking me. Stop it, Henry, barked Miss Battleaxe. Henry stopped. What was bothering the old bat now? Class, pay attention, said Miss Battleaxe. Today we're doing group projects on the ancient Greeks. We're studying the Sacrum of Troy, shrieked Henry. Yes, he could see it now. Henry leading the Greeks as they crashed and slashed their way through the terrified Trojans. His spear would be the longest and the sharpest, and Miss Battleax fixed Henry with her icy stare. Henry frowned. We're going to divide into small groups and make Parthenons out of cardboard blue rolls and card, continued Miss Battleax. First you must draw the Parthenon, agree a design together, then build and paint it. I want to see everyone shirling and listening. Also, the head teacher will be dropping by to admire your work and to see how beautifully you are working together. Horrid Henry scowled. He hated working in groups. He detested sharing. He loathed listening to others. Their ideas were always wrong. His ideas were always right. But the other children in Henry's groups never recognised Henry's genius. Hen for some reason, they wanted to do things their way, not his. The ancient Greeks certainly never worked together beautifully, thought Horrid Henry resentfully. So why should he? They just speared each other or ate their children for tea. Henry, Bert, William and Claire, you're working together on table three, said Miss Battleaxe. Horrid Henry groaned. What a horrible, horrible group. He hated all of them. Why did Miss Battleaxe never put him in a fun group with Ralph or Graham or Dave? Henry could see it now. They'd be laughing together in the corner, making trumpets out of loo rolls, sneaking sweets, throwing crayons, flicking paint, having a great time. But oh no, he had to be with Bossy Boots Claire, Crybaby William and Bert. Miss Battleaxe did it on purpose just to torture him. No, protested Horrid Henry. I can't work with her. No, protested Clever Claire. I can't work with him. Wah! Well, Weepy Willy, I want to work with Andrew. Silence, shouted Miss Battleaxe. Now get in your groups and get to work. I want to see everyone sharing and working together beautifully. Or else. There was a mad scramble as everyone ran to their tables to grab the best pencils and the most pieces of paper. Henry snatched the purple, blue and red pencils and a big pile of paper. I haven't got any paper, screamed William. Tough, said Horrid Henry. I need all these for my design. I want some paper, whined William. Clever Claire passed him one of her sheets. William burst into tears. It's dirty, he wailed, and I haven't got a pencil. Oh. Here's what we're going to do, said Henry. I'm doing the design, William can help me build it, and everyone can watch me paint. No way, Henry, <coughs> Henry said Claire. We all do a design, then we make the best one. Which will be mine, said Horrid Henry. Doubt it, said Clever Claire. Well, I'm not making yours, snarled Henry. I'm doing the painting. You're doing the gluing. I'm doing the painting, said Claire. I want to do the painting, wailed William. What do you want to do, Bert? Bert. I don't know, said Beauty Bert. Fine, said Clever Claire. Bert will do the painting. Let's get drawing, everyone. We want our group's Parthenon to be the best. Horrid Henry was outraged. Who made you boss, demanded Henry. Someone has to take charge. Said Horrid Clever Claire. 
Horrid Henry reached under the table and kicked her. Ow! yelped Clever Claire. Miss, Henry kicked me! Did not, shouted Horrid Henry. Liar! Why isn't a table of three drawing? hissed Miss Battleaxe. Claire drew. William drew. Bert drew. Henry drew. Everyone should have finished drawing by now, said Miss Battleaxe, with trolling around the tables. Time to combine your ideas. But I haven't finished, wept William. Horrid Henry gazed at his design with satisfaction. It was a triumph, he could see it now, painted silver and purple with a few red stripes. Why don't we just draw mine? <coughs> said Claire. Because mine's the best, shouted Horrid Henry. What about mine? whispered William. We're building mine, shouted Claire. Mine! Mine! Miss Battleaxe ran over. Stop shouting, shouted Miss Battleaxe. Show me your work. That's lovely, Claire. What a fabulous design. Thank you, Miss, <laughs> said Clever Claire. William, that's a tower, not a temple. Start again. Wah! wailed William. Bert, what is this miss? I don't know, said Beefy Bert. It looks like a teepee, not a temple, said Miss Battleaxe. She looked at Horrid Henry's design and glared at him. Can't you follow his instructions, she shrieked. That limp temple looks like a... That temple looks like it's bad about to blast off. That's how it's meant, how I meant it to look, said Henry. It's high tech. Margaret, sit down. Toby, leave Lion alone. Graham, get back to work, said Miss Battleaxe, racing off to stop the fight on table two. Right, we're doing my design, said Claire. Who wants to build the steps and who wants to decorate the columns? No one, snapped Horrid Henry, because we're doing mine. Fine, we'll vote, said Claire. Who wants to build mine? Claire and William raised their hands. I'll get you for that, William, muttered Henry. William burst into tears. Who wants to do Henry's, said Claire. Only Henry raised his hand. Come on, Bert, don't you want to do take mine, pleaded Henry. I don't know, said Beefy Bert. It's not fair, shrieked Horrid Henry. I want to build mine. 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 Slap. Slap. That's it, shrieked Miss Battleaxe. Henry, work in the corner on your own. Yes, this was the best news Henry had heard all morning. Beaming, Henry went to the corner and sat down at his own little table with his own glue, his own scissors, his own paints, his own card and his own pile of loo rolls. Bliss, thought Henry, I can build my parson on in peace. There was just one problem. There was only a small number of loo rolls left. This isn't nearly enough for my parson on, thought Horrid Henry. I need more. He went over to Moody Margaret's table. I need more loo rolls, he said. Tough, said Margaret. We're using all of ours. Henry stomped over to Sour Susan's table. Give me some loo rolls, he said. Go away, said Sour Susan sourly. Margaret took our extras. Sit down, Henry, barked Miss Battleaxe. Henry sat, fuming. This was an outrage. Hadn't Miss Battleaxe told them to share? And here were his greedy classmates hogging all the loo rolls when his parson on desperately needed extra engines. Bzzz! Break time. Leave your parthenons on the table to dry, said Miss Battleaxe. Henry, you must be in a break and finish. What? Miss Break? But, but, sit down, ordered Miss Battleaxe. You'll go straight to the head. Eek! Horrid Henry knew the head, Mrs. Oddbod, all too well. He did not need to know her any better. Henry slunk back to his chair. Everyone else ran shrieking out of the door to the playground. Why was it always children who were punished? Why weren't teachers ever sent to the head? It was so unfair. I just have to nip down the hall for a moment. Don't you dare leave that table, said Miss Battleaxe. The moment Miss Battleaxe left the room, Henry jumped up and accidentally on purpose knocked over Claire's chair. He broke William's pencil and drew a skull and crossbones on Bert's teepee. 
Then he wandered over to Sour Susan's table. There was a freshly glued Parthenon waiting to be painted. Henry studied it. You know, he thought, Susan's group hadn't done a bad job. Not bad at all. Shame about that bulge on the side, though. If they shared one loo roll with me, it would balance so much better, thought Horrid Henry. Horrid Henry looked to the left. He looked to the right. Snatch. Susan's support sagged. Better even that up, thought Henry. Yank. Hmm, thought Horrid Henry, glancing at Gorinda's table. That were, what were they thinking? Those walls are far too tall. Grab. Gorinda's temple tottered. And as for Claire's pathetic efforts, it was positively bursting with useless pillars. Whisk. Claire's columns wobbled. Much better, thought Horrid Henry. Soon he had plenty of loo rolls. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Horrid Henry dashed back to his table and was innocently gluing away at the class as the class stampeded back to the tables. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Crash! On every table, Parthenon started collapsing. Everyone shrieked and screamed and sobbed. It's your fault! Yours! You didn't glue it right! You didn't build it right! Rudraff hurled the paintbrush at Moody Margaret. Margaret hurled it back. Suddenly the room was filled with flying brushes, glue pots and loo rolls. Miss Battleaxe burst in. Stop it! bellowed Miss Battleaxe as a loo roll hit her on the nose. You are the worst class I have ever taught! I leave you alone for one minute and you just look at this mess. Now sit down and shut! The door opened. In walked the head. Mrs. Oddbod stared at Miss Battleaxe. Miss Battleaxe stared at Mrs. Oddbod. Boo, dicker, said Mrs. Ba- said Mrs. Oddbod. What is going on? The sack in a troy, shrieked Horrid Henry. There was a terrible silence. Horrid Henry shrank in his seat. Now he was done for. Now he was dead. I can see that said Mrs. Oddbod, coldly. Miss Battleaxe, come to my office, now. No, whimpered Miss Battleaxe. Yes, thought Horrid Henry, victory!